24 hours in the life of a night shift worker. Good morning, I've just finished the night shift. I wanna bring you guys along and show you what it's like in the life of a night shift worker. It's currently 6 a.m. I've got some nice fresh bags. So I'm gonna take you guys along the journey for a day to see what my routine is and uh, to see how, how it's like working on night shifts. Starting off the day well, on the way to work, I uh, hit a fox and ripped off my undershield. So first thing I've had to do before I got in the car this morning is get underneath and rip this off. I'll show you, I've got my gloves on. There's my undershield and the boot. You can see the fox blood on it. Yeah, not a great start to the morning, but there you go. Day in the life, I guess. Good morning, currently three o'clock, so that means I've had eight hours sleep. So I've got a few bits to do today actually. It really varies. Some days I can wake up and I've got absolutely nothing to do. And then other days, like today, I woke up and my phone has gone mental. I've got private work to sort out, customers ringing me. I'm on my way to my friends in a minute to book the Formula One racing that we're gonna be going to in July. I've got an email for the dispatch of my NeoPixel lightsaber, which I've waited for for four months. And I can't explain how excited I am to get that lightsaber to create content for you guys. Lots to do today. I'm gonna to do my absolute best to try and film while I'm doing everything. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, while I'm in the car, on the way to get a KFC wrap. Oh, you've fallen over. So let's try that again. I'm currently in a KFC drive-thru. So a bit about my routine. I work for a manufacturing car company. You could say the company is the most luxurious car company in the entire world. If you think of a car that is the most luxurious type of car in the world, one of the most expensive, what would you think of? I work for that company um, and I paint them. I'm a sprayer. KFC, can I get your order please? Oh, can I get just one barbecue wrap please? Yep, and if you have. That's it, thank you. I'm putting it into it though, thank you. Thank you. My hours are 11 p.m. till 6 a.m. and I tend to get home, have a bit of cereal or something to eat, chill out for half an hour to 45 minutes and I try and get into bed by 7 a.m. and then I like to wake up at 3 p.m. at the latest so I get a nice solid eight hours sleep and then that allows me to have a nice roughly seven hours in the day to do whatever I like and I'm not feeling tired. So that works really well for me but everybody's different. So I'm home now. Had a nice time around my mates and we booked the Formula One. So, yeah, very pleased with that. Now it's time to uh, feed the fish, get comfy, relax, and uh, I've got to make a couple of phone calls, sort out some private work, and, um, and then after that I can finally chill out and have a little bit of an evening before I have to start thinking about work. So I've just fed the fish. Old Spike's enjoying some food. Oh, scared him off. Oi, he stole his food. So, the gyms are closed at the minute and I do like to go to the gym a lot and try and train where possible. So what I did was, I got a pull-up bar. So every day, I just try and jump on the pull-up bar a couple of times a day, just to keep myself fresh, ready for when the gym's open. I 
finally finished all of my phone calls. I finally finished all of the stuff I had to do. So now it is time for me to unwind and chill and I can finally sit down and relax. And it's not normally like this. This is a very off day with it being this busy. Um, normally, and quite honestly, my days consist of not much. I get up, eat some food, play on the Xbox, look for content ideas on YouTube and just sit and chill. Finally feel more relaxed now, having had a lot going on today. It's funny what an hour's worth of just unwinding can do. So right now I've got my dinner. <laughs> I went for a nap on the sofa. Who doesn't love a good nap? Now I'm running a bit late, so I need to get up and quickly pack my lunch, get dressed and go to work. That's it, ready to go to work. So I've just pulled up to work, and I guess I will see you guys in about seven hours. So that's the night shift finished. Thank you for watching guys. That's been 24 hours in the life of a night shift worker. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you're here still at the end of the video, please drop a comment below to let me know you enjoyed it. Hit that like button because it'd really help YouTube let people know that you're enjoying my content. And uh, yeah, I've quite enjoyed making this one. I look forward to editing it and seeing how it comes out. So thanks for watching as always guys. And until next time, I will see you then. Cheers guys, bye bye.